with our feet that we're constantly touching the earth. That too. And most people don't think about that. And part of what I'm interested in is trying to get people to appreciate what God gave us. That's right. You know, the soil and and to realize how all our food and all our clothing and even our houses all come from the earth. All we are is that very same soil. You know, that's what the Bible tells us. Right. Tells us from dust to dust. Right. So I'm hoping that's what will happen when people see this and they'll get a sense of how dependent we are, how we're really just children of the earth right. and that we're all connected. That's how I got to feet, because I thought, gee, we walk on the soil all the time all on the earth, and of course with sidewalks and, and asphalt, you know, people th don't even realize that, that there is an earth sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that's really what, why I got to the feet. And also because we, we kind of take our feet for granted, mm -hmm. you know? People, people think a lot more about their faces and their hair and right. how fat or skinny they are, and they don't think about their feet, and our feet really support us mm -hmm. our whole lives. It's full of bloom. Right. Yeah, full of bloom. Now all this junk will be cotton bowls. Now see the space between there? Right. Now years ago, when uh, people used to that hire people to, to hold the chop the cotton out, see? So that there would be that out. much space between. Right, right. And, but you always leave two together. That's right. Now see this? See the bowls on here? Mm-hmm. See the cotton bowls there? Oh, they're already forming. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. It's like this field here. When you do it by hand, mm -hmm. see, maybe this field, maybe 15, 20, 30 people. How about how long did you pick cotton? When you started, of course you were born. Oh, I, 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 was, I started picking cotton and I was around about, about 10 years old. And then, and how long did you do it? Because it sounds I like you I did it, I did it from, uh, from 10 years. Up till I got married. Yeah. And what do you remember from those times? How did that compare to the other kinds of work you had to do? At that time, things, it didn't seem to be hard work, you know? That's a, how is that possible? Well, um, <laughs> see, it, it's, uh, it was more energy, I think it was. And uh, the air was more pure. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And that really made a difference? That made a difference. That made a difference, yeah. Mm. Yeah. The place down, right. right up the place from a tree. Then you can release the so you, you, you release it, you release it for 10 years. And they pay you every year. Yeah, that's a good deal. Uh -huh. yeah. It was rather painful time. until you got used to it. Like maybe the first one or two days, all around the nails, because like my fingers were always big, I believe. All, <laughs> around, all around these cuticles would just be tearing off, you know. From the then, bowls, from yeah, the stickers. Yeah, from the stickers on the bowls. And then after a while, you would get used to it. It would stop hurting, stop painting. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, it was terrible. Songs out there, what kind of songs mm -hmm. did you sing? Do you remember? Well, really what was going on in the church. Mm -hmm. And uh, it wasn't really all the Negro spirituals, it was some of the other songs. What, what kind of songs, singing. what do you mean? Uh, the hymns from the hymn book. Uh -huh. I know that was one of them. Shout, look, children, don't you get weary. There's a great camp meeting in the promised land. We, we thought that was really special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Walk along, children, don't you get weary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great camp meeting in the promised land. But uh, when we, we weren't singing, we were laughing about something, talking. No, Telling because stories, my mother, huh? yeah, and because my mother would draw circles around us, but if you got I mean, your quota, you know, she would be picking old, right. far ahead, two and three rows, and we just on the one row. <laughs> would she get Going mad along. at you? Or no, she, she wasn't, to... when she's go to work, and she's working, mm -hmm. and um, she might say, you will come on at once in a while, but she uh, really did a whole lot of work. But my father didn't. He would come in 
just pick a lo uh, uh, long enough to get you to <laughs> start off real <laughs> good, and he's gone. <laughs> and then what would he do? He really just walked around to other crops. I'd, I um, often think of every day he walked around all of that farm. For what reason, I don't know. And um, it was just, I believe, about two years ago, we we were going to, oh yeah, um, with, the, with the retired teachers, and I was with this group, we were going to Columbia to a meeting, and I said, oh, that cotton is beautiful. Look. They say, stop the car and let her out. <laughs> and we'll just leave her here, because I don't see nothing beautiful in no cotton. But it was pretty. <laughs> it was um, thick and white and everything, so I thought it was beautiful. They say, oh, they don't want to even look at no cotton. Well, I don't they have, have such, that. They have bad memories, memories from it. But I didn't have that. I don't. I don't. I don't want to pick anymore, but I don't have that. My people didn't plant over six or seven acres of cotton. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but uh, we used to pick cotton for different people. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So after you did your own, you'd, you'd go work for somebody else and yeah. pick their cotton. Yeah. And would they pay you just a day wage for that? I mean, it They'd was, pay you by the pound. They'd pay you 50 cents a hundred. 50 cents a hundred pounds? Yeah, just to and pick it. And how long would it take to pick a hundred pounds? Well, you could you could pick a hundred. Uh, a lot of people pick three hundred pounds a day. I pick high three hundred sixty-five pound of cotton. Oh my God, that's a lot of cotton. Yeah. Now you well, must. I went out. How many hours would that take to pick that oh much Lord, cotton? Oh Lord, I went out at good daylight and pick it till dark near. At least twelve hours. When you think back on it, is it something you think? fondly of or or that you don't like to think about or is it mixed or what's it like for you you know when you think back on those times well i just study about and think back that how we did through how we made it through and all that hard love hard That's labor what amazes me do you have any idea how you did do it <laughs> it's hard work ah. and uh, yes uh, just hard work yeah. I can't exactly point the year, and I will take it down. But uh, me and one more, me and the white fellow, of uh, Joe McCutcheon, the only one to make a bale of cotton that year for 10 acres. So, what did you do for money? You only had one. Lady. Money was, I'd say like this, money was money downtown. I mean, I worked for 30 cents a day. Oh, my goodness. Mm. So how did you get along? Did you, oh, I mean, it's hard to imagine. You just pray for them days to not come back. Yeah. Yes, sir. They, it's been hard, hard, hard time. Do you think it's of um, important for young, young people today to know about what you, you and your friends yeah, really went it's, through? It's, it's, what, do, what do old people have to come through? That's part of why I wanted to get this information. You know, to pass it on to the young people because yeah. they have no idea. You know, they have no idea of the. They throw away now what we used to make. That's a, that's just right, yeah. We threw in a way we used to make livo. Mm hmm. How do you think it would change them to, if they could understand how oh, hard Lord. it was for you? What what do you think that would teach them? All of them would be rich. <laughs> All of them would be rich. Yeah. You mean they just would know how rich they are? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's lonely, boy. I'm glad I ain't young and can come through that no more. I don't believe I could make it through that no more.
I was the oldest one. And then she had so many under me. How many of them were you? Well, she had 16. Oh, my like goodness. 10 boys and six girls. But she read 10. She raised 10? Yeah. Whoa. And I was the oldest one. Mm. And we would, um, she would had a little, we used to put the, well, some people had a little wagon, but she had just a little piece board box. Mm. And put the baby in the box, and she would pick back to the box. Mm. They'd move the baby up underneath the cotton bushes, so the cotton bushes would be high, you right. know, in some places. Right. Yeah. And so each time she'd do a couple more rows, yeah, she'd like, move the baby? Yeah, we'd put, move the baby up. But what about the other nine, if she had ten of them? <laughs> <laughs> she had ten well, boxes? Whoops! Did she they have ten boxes They all would be in the field. <laughs> well, they all would be in the field. I see, so that was just the youngest one. Yeah, she yeah, would. the baby. She had to keep up with the baby. Mm -hmm. Did you like picking the cotton, or was it just mm -hmm. a lot of hard work? That's all we knew about. <laughs> <laughs> we were brought up on the farm, so and uh, that was just a pleasure for us to get out there. And, uh, it was a pleasure. Yes, because that's the only thing we know. Mm-hmm. That's right. We were, we were farmers. Right. The um, we get the hoe and hold that cotton. Uh, Mama read her brother child, and uh, that made ten of us came up together, and then we used to enjoy some some older girls. Now, uh, uh, Dad had the farm, and would run down, their rows would run right down to ours. And uh, those were some working girls. They worked hard? Mm, working, old man, they, 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 they run up and down the rows like nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, chopping cotton and hoeing the back and things. So they cotton, the cotton rows would run right down to our rows. So we asked Papa one day, Papa, how many rows it take to make an acre? And uh, he could make off his own, own land and everything, mm -hmm. you know. And he told us how many rows it would take to make an acre. So 